Alright then gang, so now we have the basic structure of our application sorted, what I'd like to do now is try to fetch some data so that while that's loading that data we can ultimately show those skeleton screens. Now that data is going to come from JSON Placeholder, which is a fake online REST API for testing and prototyping. So it gives us access to a load of different endpoints that we can use to get some dummy data. So I'll leave this link down below so you can check it out for yourself. It's got loads of different endpoints that we can use, which are listed down here. We're going to use a couple of different resources, posts for the articles on the left over here, and then users, or rather just get a single user with a single ID for the user details on the right. So first of all, let's address the user details, the profile bit. So I'm in the user component and what I need to do is create a bit of state to store whatever data that we get back from that endpoint. So to do this, I'll be using the use state hook. So const and we'll call this bit of state profile and we need a function to update that profile, which is set profile. And then I'm going to set that equal to use state and that should be auto imported at the top. And we're going to start that off to be null. So initially, when the page first loads, that bit of state is going to be null. We don't have any user data yet. But then later on, once this has been rendered, this component to the DOM, we need to go out and fetch the data. Now to do that, we'll be using the use effect hook. And the use effect hook runs automatically after the component has been rendered. So that's the time we want to go out and grab the data. So use effect, press enter, should auto import it. And then inside here, we want to fire a function which will run after the component has been rendered. And then inside here, I'm going to create a set timeout. And the reason I'm using a set timeout is so I can delay the fetching of data so that we can see the skeletons on here for longer. Because if I didn't do this, then the actual request would be really quick to get this data. And we're going to only see those skeletons for a second. And in order to preview those for longer, so we can see that effect, I'm going to create a delay of about five seconds. Now, you wouldn't do this in your normal application. There'd be absolutely no need to do that. It's not something that a user wants to see all the time, these skeleton screens. It's just a necessity. So do not delay your asynchronous requests normally. This is just so we can see the skeleton screens while we're developing them. So anyway, this is going to be an asynchronous function that fires after that delay. So let's create that function first of all. And then after that, we want to set a delay of 5000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. Now, the reason I've marked this as async is because we're using the await keyword inside here. Again, I've got a whole series on async JavaScript on this channel if you want to learn more about async and await. So we're going to say const result is equal to await, and then we're going to use the fetch API to grab some data. And I'm just going to paste in a URL, an endpoint into here, which is forward slash users forward slash one, where one is the ID. So that's going to grab us something from this endpoint right here, a user with the ID of one. OK, so that's the first step. Then when we get the result, we want to turn it into a JavaScript object. So to do that, we can create a new constant called data, which is what we'll work with and set that equal to await response or result dot JSON. So we're taking this result right here and using the JSON method on it to pass it into a JavaScript object so we can work with it. And then all we need to do is update the profile right here so that it matches this data. So to do that, we use this function set profile, set profile and pass in the data. And now once this is all done, after the initial five seconds and after any additional time it takes to grab this resource, we're going to update the profile so that it matches whatever result we get back. OK, so now we could potentially show this profile in the component. So that's what I'm going to do. Now we need to do a check, first of all, to make sure we have the profile. So let me do curly braces and then say profile and then double ampersand and then some kind of template. So the way this works is, if this is true on the left side of the double ampersand, then we're going to output this template right here. If this is not true, then it doesn't even reach this side and it will never output this template. OK, so only when we have a result back and we've updated the profile, will this be output to the screen? Otherwise, this is null to begin with and it won't output it.
So what do we want to output once we have that profile information? Well, first of all, a div. So let me say div with a class name, and that class name is gonna be equal to profile. And inside that div, I want to then create an h3, first of all, and inside the h3, I'm gonna output the profile.username. So that is a property we get back from the data when we grab a user from JSON placeholder. And by the way, I've just realized all of this stuff right here needs to go inside this div. So let's place it right here, okay? Okay, so we've now output the username. Below the username, I want to also output the user email. So let's do that inside a paragraph tag. And again, we'll say profile, and then this time dot email. And then below that, I'm gonna output the profile website. So let's do that in an anchor tag, a href, and set that equal to the profile dot website. So again, these are all properties on this thing right here that we get back. And then inside the anchor tag, we'll output the profile website as well, profile dot website like so, okay? So again, we're only gonna output all of this once we have a profile back. So let me save this now and preview. I'm gonna refresh over here. We'll just have to wait a few seconds, five seconds, then however long it takes to get that data and then it shows right here. Now, in all of that time, ultimately, while it's loading, we're gonna show a skeleton screen. But for now, so we know that something's loading, let's just output some text saying loading or something like that. So the way we do that is very similar to this. We're gonna do curly braces and then this time exclamation mark profile, double ampersand, and then some kind of template. Now, this means that only output what's on the right when we don't have a profile, and that is gonna be true when it's null before we have any data back. So this is only gonna show when this doesn't show and vice versa, right? So whenever it's loading, we're gonna show some kind of template on the right. Now, I could place this inside parentheses again and go down to the next line, but because we're only gonna output one piece of text, I can just do it in a div tag directly here and just say loading dot dot dot, close off that div like so, okay? So if we save it, you can see loading, and then when we have that data, after the delay, it should output the user details, awesome. Okay then, so next up, I wanna do the same thing for the articles, so let's head to the articles components. And again, I want to create a bit of state to begin with. So const, we'll call this articles and set articles. Set that equal to use state and press enter so it auto imports. And to begin with, that is going to be null as well. Now, oops, make sure that's not in capitals. So null. Okay, so now we want to do something very similar to this thing over here. Use effect, set timeout and grab the data. So I'm just going to copy all of that because I can't be bothered typing it out all again and I'm going to paste it in. This time we want to change the endpoint to instead of forward slash users to forward slash posts and we don't want to get one post we want a load of posts so we don't pass in an ID to be one or something else. This grabs us a whole host of different posts and then we want to cycle through those when we have them and output them in the template. Before we do that, we just need to update this right here. So instead of set profile, it should be set articles like so. Okay, so if we remember over here inside user, we did something like this to output loading if there's no profile yet. We're gonna do something very similar for the articles. So let me do that at the bottom down here, paste it in. This time we need to check for articles. So if there's no articles to begin with, then we show loading, right? Now, when we do have the articles, we want to cycle through them and output them. But first of all, we want to make sure we do have them. So articles, then double ampersand, and then we want to say articles.map. So this is how we cycle through something, some kind of an array in React, and we output a bit of template for each item in the array. So each item is going to be referred to as a single article. You can call this a variable what you want, but we pass it into the callback function inside the map method and for each article we're going to return a bit of template so first of all i'm going to do a div with a class name equal to article so it's a single article we also need a key prop because when we cycle through data react needs a key a unique key for each template that we output for each item and that key is going to be the article Dot ID because on each article or each post that we get back from this endpoint, it has 
an ID property. And I can show you that if we go to forward slash posts, this is what we're grabbing. We're using this thing right here, this ID, okay? All right, so now inside that div, let me just close this off first of all. Inside the div, we want to output a couple of things from the article. We want to output the title and the body. So let's do an H3 first of all, and that is going to be for the title. So article.title. And then below that, we want a P tag for the body. So article.body. All right. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. If this articles, we're cycling through them using map and for each article, we're returning a bit of templates where we're outputting that article information and also providing a key, which is the article ID. All right, so now while everything is loading, it should show this text, but then once we have the data, it should show all of the articles. So let me save this and come over here and it says use effect is not defined. That's because we've not imported it up here, use effect save that and come back over here now we can see loading over here as well when we get the articles after five or six seconds they're all listed right here awesome so now we have that data fetching in place in the next video i want to start to create our skeleton components so that ultimately instead of showing these loading text things right here we show those different skeleton templates instead